Hello my friends all over the world, wherever you are. William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. And today I'm going to be making some vegetable juice with one of my favorite greens, the French sorrel plant. And I have a few other greens and other ingredients that I'd like to show you. Let's take a look. In addition to my French sorrel greens, I have romaine lettuce, two heads of romaine lettuce, one medium-sized beet, some ginger, some garlic, 130 grams of turmeric, about 8 or 10 collard leaves, one large dandelion plant, and of course carrots. Now as usual, I'm going to feed three ice cubes in after I plug in my thermometer to cool down my cutter and my feed tube. start with some romaine lettuce. And remember, don't drop your produce and feed it in slowly. Oh, it went through that lettuce just like butter. Love romaine lettuce. Remember, feed it in, don't drop it. Take a couple of collard leaves, fold them in half, roll it into a tube, and feed in the stem end in first. Well, I am so impressed with this zero blowback cutter. Fold your collars in half, roll it into a tube, feed your stem end in first. some ginger through. One whole head of garlic. Some turmeric. Boy, this cutter is working marvelously. Whenever you do greens, it's a good idea to clean your grid often because greens are very, very fibrous. And they also heat up your feed tube. So after we do these greens, we're going to put in some more ice cubes and then do the French sorrel. Three more ice cubes because we're already up to 30 degrees centigrade. Now we'll start with the French sorrel. Mind you again, when you're on your last produce, there's always a plug of usually carrot in here, any other produce. Put some more pulp in the feed tube and then force that last plug through. And I want to remind you again that when you have carrots in your pulp, carrots prevent your pulp from sticking to the cloth, so you do not need bamboo liners. Just spoon your pulp directly into the cloth. Now we'll get some cloths out of the freezer and we'll start making juice. Three ladles full of pulp into each cloth. Fold it into thirds, as tight a package as you can make it. And I'm going to press two cloths full of pulp at the same time. Set that aside. Fill another cloth. When you're on your last cloth, advance that all the way. Saves time that way. Fold in thirds as tight a package as possible. Here's my 
six cloth method. This goes forward, this goes over, the spent cloth goes on top, and there's two methods you can use with the less work six cloth method. First center, left to right, front to back, all the way back, back it off. If you have a puddle of juice in your juice tray, take your pulp, crush it up and put it in the puddle to absorb that juice in the tray. And then three more scoops of pulp. Approximately a cup's worth of pulp. You can pretty well eyeball it. And once again, when you're on your last cloth, advance it all the way. This time I'm not going to put the pulp in the tray, in the uh, collection bowl. I'm going to put two scoops, not three, only two scoops on top of the already spent pulp. Do not throw your pulp away. Now, this time before I put two scoops in here, I'm going to mix that dry pulp with the wet pulp. And then two more scoops on top of this pulp. your eye in the bowl, I can see that's getting very, very full. So instead of advancing this all the way, I'm going to back it off and press the rest later because this bowl is too full and we'll put this into bottles. I leave about 10% for filtered or distilled water. If you want to make pure juice and no water in it, you can, but I like to leave about 10%. Two more scoops on top of the spent pulp. Same routine, fold it in thirds, as tight a package as possible. By less work, six cloth method. This goes forward, this goes over, the spent pulp goes on top. Two cloths into the tray, centered left to right, make sure your tray's on there securely. Centered front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. I'm going to take my spent pulp. I'm going to form it into a tighter package and show you how the whole Health Foundation model juicer can make 10% more juice. Now, as you can see, I've repackaged all of my spent pulp into three tighter packages of two cloths each, and I'm going to use a measuring beaker to see how much more juice we can get using a whole Health Foundation premium model juicer. So we'll put two of these repackaged cloths in the press, centered, left to right, front to back. Very important to have this centered. I'm going to put all the way back, and as soon as I get juice flow, I'm going to back it off because you do not want this to go up too fast. So we'll back it off a little bit. That's a little bit more. And then all the way. Well, from this batch, we got 18 more ounces of juice, and I know we could get more, but for the sake of making this video a little briefer, I'm going to quit now, because you get the idea. Now, I don't want this to drip on my countertop, so I'm going to set my tray back, but obviously back a lot. Don't set it back just a tiny bit. You'll forget, you'll damage your tray. Set it back a lot. I'll pour this into the bowl, and then we'll pour this into bottles. This batch of juice, I got five, ten bottles, and remember, one of these bottles, over 16 ounces, came from pressing the already spent pulp. So let's do a taste test. Now this juice is made with one of my favorite vegetables, French sorrel. Let's see what it tastes like. Boy, this is delicious. French sorrel always seems to make a juice taste sweet, no matter what greens you're using. I hope you like what you've seen. In this video, I was using the Zero Blowback Cutter with some greens, French sorrel, other greens, turmeric, ginger, garlic, and uh, carrots, of course. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. And if you'd like to order one of these zero blowback cutters, send me an email or give me a phone call.
I'll see you in the next video. Ah, oh, that's delicious.